Hey gang, Jack Allaire here. Uh, I am uh, fairly sick this weekend, uh, have been most of the week, and decided that today we would take it a little easy. And something that's been in the news lately is uh, City of Heroes. The There were people running private servers and then they finally got uh, let out into the public and I thought I would show you guys the character creation for those of you who haven't seen it. Because this is really where uh, just hours of my life have gone. Probably days. Uh, it starts out fairly simple. Um, so there's there's City of Heroes. This is the, basically the... The crux... The... Original game was City of Heroes. And then they introduced City of Villains. And this is where you can play City of Heroes and City of... You can play a hero or a villain. A City of Heroes going rogue was basically the answer to well, what if the bad guy wants to become good? What if the good guy wants to go bad? Uh, think of the Punisher, Moon Knight. Um, those are the two that I always go to. Bad guys becoming good, I guess, would be, in a way, Lex Luthor, Doctor Doom. Even though those were only for certain ones. These guys get loyaled off, or kind of get walled off, and then at level 20 they can go. They can either join the main game or go off to the Rogue Islands. We're just going to start with a basic one, because I don't want to, I don't want to confuse you guys. So. And these are the the different ways that it happens. So, ooh, that was kind of loud. We might need to turn that down a bit. Turn that down just a scotch. So, there's science, mutation, magic, technology, and natural. These are how you got your powers. So, science is you earn them through the benefits of modern science, either through experimentation or by accident. So, that would be your your Hulk. Um, mutation, your power. Mutation, your, your powers derived from genetic manipulation or evolutionary alteration. Um, so this would be your mm, Inhumans, your mutants from Marvel. Um, I am more a Marvel guy than a DC, so. Magic. This would be your Doctor Strange, your Shazam, people like that. Technology. This is going to be your Batman, your Iron Man. And natural. This is going to be your... Mm, I guess Iron Fist is a bad example now, but... These are going to be the people that dedicate themselves and become just become superhuman uh, real life think of Bruce Lee so I've, I've got an idea so we're going to start with magic so we're going to go to magic and the great thing is at any point you can enter a name and you can just be like hey enter the name check the name availability but you can keep going through here so we'll go with magic go play style and so here are you've got the tank damage mitigation meant to soak up attacks works well soloing or in teams melee damage ranged damage you shoot people from far away crowd control uh, locks down enemies keeps things out um Sorry, drinking some coffee. I'm on cold venison too, so a little scattered. Support buffs, debuffs, which basically means that they make the make the bad guys worse at things and make you better at things. And pet classes. Um, yeah. So you have minions. Um, we're gonna keep it pretty simple. So we're gonna go with uh, with good old-fashioned tank. 
And then now we're going to move for our archetype. So, there are four. Tankers can take it and dish it out all at once. Primarily absorb vast amounts of damage and hold his own in a fist fight. But he lacks any ranged punch. There's the brutes. They live to fight. And you revel in hand-to-hand -hand combat. So, hmm. And these are basically, you can see those little things moving around. The Peace Bringer and the Warshade, I know nothing about. I don't think I ever mess with those. But, as I said, I have an idea. So we're going to go, we're going to build, build my tanker here. And now uh, there are primary power sets and secondary power sets. So here's, so there's bio armor, which um, think of Giver, I guess, would be the oof, deep pull. Dark armor, I have no idea. Uh, maybe cloak from Cloak and Dagger. Electric armor. Mm, once again, got no idea. Fiery ore. Um, Jenny Storm, Human Torch, Firestar, Ice Armor, uh, Iceman, Invulnerability, um, I guess Superman, Shield Defense, Captain America, Stone Armor, mm, no clue, Super Reflexes, think uh, Spider-Man, so th it's cool that they include this in here, because Spider-Man could be a tank, just his way of absorbing damage is by not getting hit and willpower which is just I always get back up think John Wick because he always gets back up so we're going to go with shield defense Go with deflection for our secondary powers. Now, see, since I picked the shield, it means I can't take the dual blades. But I can take all of this other stuff. So I can take the war mace, it's pure super strength, street justice. I guess that would be a. Psionic melee is locked. Staff fighting because I already have martial arts. Kinetic melee. So street uh, street justice would probably put us closer to um, Captain America. Dark melee allows you to focus the powers. See, we're not going to go with any of those. We're going to go with a war mace. And choose your powers. The only option is bash. So, okay. So now... We get to kind of the weird... So there are three different, different types here. We've got male, female... And then we've got huge. So, do with that what you will. Um, and then you can go in here and you can kind of mess around with... If you want the athletic build. Average. If you want heavy. And the, the female heavy looks different. So it's kind of cool. Like you can have a slim heavy, which looks really weird. You can put their height. If you want to be eight feet tall, you can do that. You know. But we're going to put everything back. Whoop. 
through the middle. So like I said, I already have an idea. And since we're going that way... Uh, I think we're going to go huge because... a little above six feet yeah that'll work now this button right here costume is the most insane thing ever so there are all right where to start here okay so we've got all of these different costume sets. So there's armored, average, bear, biker, biker two, blow, buckled, chaos, chitin armor, doctor, electron, enforcer heavy, enforcer light, da, 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 you know, so on and so forth. Million of these. We've got this button right here, this button, and then you got this button, which is just random. It's where, boom. So when I don't have an idea, I like the random button because I can just like, all right, I don't care. I don't know what to, I don't know anything about. Oh, there we go. Uh, Sergeant Circle or whatever. Oh, and he's got a tail. Of course he does. But, so you hit clear. We're going to come over here to where to go medieval. Okay. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to get in here to the different helms. And the cool thing is you can see there are quite a few of them. And you can add different detail onto them. But inside the subgroup, you can also go over here and say, okay, we don't want So let's say we don't want a helmet. Then we can come in here and we can go, okay, so... We want a chiseled, we want a chiseled face. We want detailed one, we want blast goggles. No, we don't want blast goggles. So we don't want any of those. alone. See, these are all the goggles. Where? Hmm. Maybe. 
Oh, this is all the face paint go goofness. You can do some really cool stuff with this, just so you know. Um, Maybe this is where we'll get there. There we go. All right. We got there. All right. All right. It's time. To, it's time to mess with some stuff. So these are. Let me talk about colors. So if you costume colors are linked, so this helps a lot. So let's say you want your character to be dressed in blue. You go, boop, he's in blue. Now, what that doesn't help with is like, let's say you need some gold in there, but that's his hair. Well, we want his hair to be gray. So we're fine with the white. We'll leave that alone. So what you can do is you can come in here and say, okay, so I want his overall costume color to be Yeah, I like this light blue. Okay, so now we come in here and we say, okay, that's great and all. But I want... I want a little more of a design. So this is where you can come in and add a pattern. So we're making a we're making a magic shield guy. So we'll go ahead and come down here. Oh, I actually really like that look. I actually think that is made for this set of armor. Okay, so there. Now we've got a little bit more style. So, overguard, overguard. Okay, so that makes sense. So, what that's just done is it's lined up overguard with overguard. So now, if we unlink and watch what happens, so now when we change this gray color, the white color rather, to like green or gold, it's a little too, it's a little too, a little too, maybe if we found a nice. There. So now we can add a little bit more depth to the... Or you can leave it like... We can add a little bit more depth to the colors. But you just have to remember, like, okay, so now we've got that blue. And we've got that blue. Or we can come up here and say that red. Maybe a dark purple. Yeah, I like the blue. I like the blue on blue. Let's keep it simple. Okay, let's go for shoulders. Let's look in here. See what we can find. Circle of thorns. Looks pretty cool. Mechanic armor. Nope. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I like this. Okay, so there is no selection for this so we've got the white color so now this doesn't have a pattern it's got the normal oh, 
How do I? We're going to be going all blue and gold for this, by the way, just so you guys know. And your cape you get later. Oh, just detail. You can do all this fun stuff. So if you wanted your person to Darth be Darth Vader or have a ring strap or whatever... Um, gloves, gloves, gloves are neat because you can do the large, banded, monstrous, clockwork. So, large, we don't want. Insectoid, Justice, Little Straps. And we're back to the medieval. So now we scroll through here and see if there's a medieval to line up. And there's not, I don't think. So now we see what this will do. Does nothing. And this is what take this is this is why playing the game is only half the fun. But we don't like really well. Let's let's go with some heavy leather. Let's see if we can make this. Is that what we did before? Yeah. Okay. Shoulder collar, glove collar. Shoulder collar. Is that blue? Gloves. We bring it that blue. See, that looks dumb. So maybe. Let me turn a nice brown. Oh, darker brown. Darker brown. Darker brown. Nope. Don't like that either. There we go. Belt. Meh, 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 meh. Nope, nope.
don't like that much blue. Hmm. Okay. Overguard what we had before. I think I like the look of that. Oh, come on. Nope. This is also the problem is that occasionally you'll be like, ah, there's the, there. This matches with it. What? Why is it not there? Okay. I do like that, though. So let's find. Something that matches. Morning. My wife just woke up, so. Mm, armored. That's just pants, pants, kilts, and shorts. No. Then we're back to armor. Okay. Let's just go with medieval and see what we can do here. So, nope. Nothing. Nothing. Alright. That means we're going to have to find something else. Because I don't like... The enforcer kind of works. There is no enforcer, though. I kind of like that, actually. What does it look like with the blue? Not as dumb as it should. Okay, now we gotta find out where. Shoulder. That one. Okay, four down, five over. Four down, five over. Four down, five over. There we go. Or no, we want to flip that. Four down, five over. Four mm. I'm not hating it. What if we come back up here? I don't like the 
boots though still. All right, so let's in tails. I never mess with because tails are weird. So let's go to blue. Is that the same blue? Nope, I'm one off. There we go. Okay. So let's look. Do, do, do. That looks weird. Now let's go back to the Celtic. I like the Celtic better. Yeah, there we go. Okay, weapons mace. with the colors. I think that's it. I think that's it. Oof. Um... Well, that's cool. Wow. Manhole cover? Nice. Right shield. Shields. Well, that's kind of cool. Spartan shield. Vanguard shield. Oh, that's awesome. I might have to go with that. Mm. Mm. Um, can I make that? Yes. No wait. Um, oh, I'm so happy. I do want to turn that different. Which one's the weapon? Nope. That one I want as bright as possible. Yeah. I like that. I know it's a tech shield and we're magic, but that that looks magic as, as I'll get out. Let's, rem let's remember that. Total shield. And then we get back around that. Okay. Man, the only other... What's 
the deflection matrix. Oh! Oh, so you can color the projector. Mm. Nope, still think I like the tech shield better. Okay, back details. For some reason I thought we couldn't have cakes yet. There are backpacks. Oh, come on. This is too cool. Post apocalyptic. <coughs> Set the text by. I just want a backpack. And... Nope. There we go. I don't like his gloves. There we go. All right. So
Oh, you can also uh, save these. Um, I think you can do it back on costume as well. Yeah. So if you wanted to be like, I don't know about this, you can save it and then come back. <laughs> Excuse me while I die. Oh, got the mute button in time. Hang on. All right. So, and name is available and reserved. Good, good. So now we go to register. Da, 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 da. And this is kind of cool. I always like this. You can um, and the great thing is the character description. You can write whatever you want in here, and it's absolutely bonkers because you could find some really cool. You could find some really cool people that actually like spend the time to write these. Have you figured out who it is yet? Have you figured it out? Have you figured it out? Yeah. Yeah, no, yeah. And there we go. Do you wish to play the tour? Yep. So there we are. We're now the entering the tutorial. Enter game. I don't know why the next button's still there. Hello? Hello? Go good, you're there. The city is being destroyed. Jump that chasm and get out of here. To move, press the W, A, S, or D keys. To jump, press the space bar. Blue Spectrum is up ahead. If you can find him, he can help you escape. Monsters are all over the place. Fight some off before meeting with Blue Spectrum. To select any enemy, left click on them or press tab. To attack, left click your power in the power tray. a moral choice. You can choose whether you want to be a hero or a villain. Well, you will have a chance to change hero. your environment again after you reach level 20. Blue Spectrum seems okay now. He'll guard this area. Longbow needs your help up ahead. Chuck 
talk to the official nearby to increase your powers. Left click on an NPC to begin interacting with it. Select train to next level to choose a new power. Ba, 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 ba. Okay, so now here are the fun things. Critical agility allows you to position change through grit, change training, gain additional quick points, reducing the quick point power always. Take less damage? Sure. Away I go. Those monsters are blocking the teleportation system. Defeat them so you can get out of here. You are now in a zone event. You can work together with other players towards a common goal. Mm, don't see any. So yeah, I'll I'll do some more videos once I actually get to uh, do some good spots. Also, some of my friends are playing this as well, so. But it's very much a old style push button. Thing. The movement is super weird. I forgot about that. Something is emerging. Oh no! were meant to have like
probably edit all of this out. There you go. You now know uh, Atlas Park is the. Remember, right? It's the big starting area. I'll have to track down my friends so we can do a fun stream later. Welcome to the city. You have the option to flag yourself in need. Nope. But eventually you get. So here is Miss Liberty. And she lets you know how much experience you need. You can also uh, customize your appearance. You get more uh, not costume sets, but so you can have more appearances. So like Spider-Man has all the different uniforms. You can do that pretty cool but uh that's it for now thank you very much for watching and as always lay on